Hello, my African viewers. My name is Eve Cade from well, my name is Eve from Eve Cade, and today we're going to be talking about a new Sega Mega Drive indie game, Life on Mars, and why I want this on Evercade. Now, obviously, as you can tell from by the gameplay above, it looks quite similar to Metroid. You know, you're running around with a gun, shooting this. Well, this is obviously a Metroidvania type game, so that's to be expected. Now, obviously, the developer behind it is Kai Magazine Soft, who's also behind the game Metal Dragoon, which we, which we spoke about on the channel months ago. Now, would this game run on Evercade? Well, it's running on a Sega Mega Drive, so it would obviously run on Evercade because that is one of the systems that Evercade runs the best because it's, got, it's one of the most uh, games that are actually on Evercade. Uh, last count I remember seeing on Evercade.info, there were 63 Mega Drive games running on Evercade. Well, so 75 NES games and about maybe like 40 or 50, something like that, uh, arcade games. So... It is one. It is actually one of the most popular platforms to bring games to Evercade. Now, uh, would this game would Kai Magazine would be willing to license their game to Evercade? I think they would. They, from what I know, they're quite a small company, so I think I mean they may not be able to put all their games on the same collection because they probably don't have that many. But they may be able to like I don't know, Blaze goes to make it make an offer like, hey, we would like to do a dual cart release of uh, Life on Mars, which is this game, and Metal Dragoon. You know, they can obviously probably work out some sort of deal. You know, where obviously some money exchanges hands and then boom. If you know, we've got a new, another dual cart for the collection. You know, of some great indie games because, you know, Blaze, Blaze, in my opinion, shines best when they do dual carts because it you know, kind of cuts out all the fluff, cuts, cuts out all the filler. Uh, and you just see the great games because there's some, some cartridges, uh, in my opinion, like the Atari and television collections, they just pump it up full of fluff a bunch of games that nobody really wants to play nobody really cares about but they have that one or two good games in there that you want to play and that will make you buy the collection so with this one getting life on mars should be quite simple should be quite easy and well obviously blaze can obviously just make a deal with car magazines but hey a this game and metal dragoon one cartridge i know a lot of people will probably say well they probably kai probably wants all the money from the mega mega drive cartridge sales and whatnot, or whatever, or digital sales, that is probably fair. That is probably quite true. But the potential for to get this game on Evercade is actually quite good, because Evercade's obviously got a growing audience, and there's obviously you have the handheld, the EXP, and the VS. You know, so there's many different platforms you can play the game on. You know, and from what I've seen, Evercade seems to be selling tons of units. You know, every time they put out a limited edition color version of the console, it sells out within a few hours. So they, there's probably quite a lot of Evercade collectors and a lot of Evercade uh, collect, well, core collectors and core gaming fans that are into Evercade who want more games to play. And this is obviously an indie game. It would give it more exposure. And people might may go out and buy the Mega Drive cartridge version of this game. You never know. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts on this uh, down in the comments down below. You know, would you want to see this game on Evercade? Do you not want to see this game on Evercade? You know, leave all that stuff in the comments down below. Just tell me your thoughts. You make sure, and if you haven't already... Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. If I hit the 200 subscribers by the end of August, you know, and hopefully we can get there. Anyway, I've been Ethan in from Ethergate, and I'll catch you next episode. Peace.